Our second haircut today is Tanya, which will be a medium length layered haircut to the collarbone with a very strong fringe. To start this haircut, we're going to put the baseline in, in one step. So we'll section down the centre and we'll take horizontal sections at the occipital bone. Combing the hair from the roots through to the end. Now with this haircut I'm keeping the section fairly close to Tanya's back so I don't create too much graduation. And I shall just pick my length and then just push that chisel through the hair. working that through to the other side. Again, engaging the hair, creating tension, just pushing it through. This will give me a nice, uneven finish. So it creates my baseline. And this is what I'm going to aim for when I start to create my layer. So taking a section from the crown down to the ear, both sides. Centre section down the middle of the head, ensuring that you comb the whole section so the comb goes in at the root, fans the hair right out so I can see where I'm going to do my guideline. I don't want to drag the hair down too much and bunch, I won't be able to see the exact panel. So it's very important that you comb from the root fan the hair out and I can see my guideline dropping away. This is the point that I need to aim for. So 45 degree angle with the chisel. If you're not sure where this is going to swing, just take a small piece out drop it down, this will determine where your layer will finish. And join the short length down through to my guideline at the nape. And taking pie sections from the crown, I work round towards the ear. Comb in at the root, fan out the section, you can see my short guideline. So as I'm pushing in, I can feel resistance from the hair, just pushing it through.
the important point now with this haircut is that we have a lot less hair from the ear to the crown. We have a great deal more hair from the crown to the nape. So as I travel over the ear, I need to change the angle of my haircut so that I retain this length. We want this length to follow right around to the collarbone. So with the section travelling over the ear, pulling the hair out at 90 degrees to the head, working with my short guideline, yet running out to the edge a lot quicker. Follow this section of pattern in parallel sections to the front hairline. Again, comb at the, at the root, fan the hair out. Okay, running the chisel faster out to the edge to leave extra length. The beauty of uh, cutting long layers with the chisel is that we're not trying to make every section connect. We're going for an overall visual finish and a visual approach. So my short layers now are fairly even. Nice and erratic, but still fairly short and even. My outer edge still retains plenty of weight, even though I've taken the layer so short. And now we'll continue this baseline from the back through across the shoulder to the front collarbone. Again, keeping the section flat, getting resistance, pushing the blade through the hair. Repeat this process on the right hand side. Just cross checking. Okay, we've left, left a couple of longer pieces. Uh, we'll just take those off. And again, where we've left this outer edge over the ear. Join that baseline through. To, to complete the haircut, we need to put Tanya's fringe in. And I'm going to work with this natural fall. Tend for the fringe to sit still quite heavy but below the eyebrow. So again, combing the hair fairly flat, as close to the skin as you can get the hair. And as with the, the nape area, just pushing the blade through the hair.
once this colour has been completed and been dried, we will recheck the fringe. And Tanya is ready for her colour. After we've removed the majority of the moisture with the fingers, we're going to go in with the brush just to give the baseline a little bit more, a little bit more of a kick out, just to smooth in the layer a little bit. this my rag doll.